Well, for all those saying that Tinubu is not uh, ready to run for presidency in 2023, well, you can keep deceiving yourself because he's trying to do this on the ground. He does not want to make it very loud. And you know that even the president and some Northerners have openly told him that they cannot support his ambition for 2023. But he believes he would be able to hold it. And he believes that uh, he has an ethnic group that is almost as much as the uh, Northern group. But, you know, when the North are not behind you, but you support them 100%, you should know you are in big trouble. Because, of course, remember that the president said he cannot support Tinubu because Tinubu does not hold the same interest as he. So he cannot support someone like Tinubu. So you can imagine what is going on in the head of the president, why he does not want to support Tinubu. Because really, what the president wants is that the presidency must remain in the north. He's a northern man. That is the way they think. You cannot blame him. He believes that the presidency must not leave the northern region. So what is Tinubu thinking? I don't know what his thoughts are. That, uh, I don't know what his thoughts are that made him actually believe that he will be able to, you know, run for presidency come 2023. But anyway, guys, let me expose to you some of the things that he has been doing that shows obviously he has a serious ambition to run for president in 2023. Anyway, guys, more details will come to you. But please, if you have not subscribed please ensure you do so and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can get updated anytime we drop a new video all right dear friends without further ado let us dive right into the details of this report but don't forget this is saffron media we're here to give you the best the most trending exciting reliable and authentic happenings in nigeria and all of that so guys ensure you stay to relax and enjoy and get the best from saffron media all right guys is right right here as the 2023 presidential election draws nearer the all progressive congress national uh, leader bola tinubu has commenced the distribution the distribution of bags of rice and other foodstuffs to kanu residents recall that he had donated donated millions to victims of the Katsina market fire incident, people were handed Jagaban bag of rice, as seen in the video that surfaced on social media. Nigeria politicians are notorious for giving handouts, popularized as stomach infrastructure by ex-governor Ayofaye She to would-be voters before and during an election period. The Instagram username Mansura Isa of today's life foundation uploaded pictures of the event with a caption appreciating mr tenable's foundation for the food stuff the, no the donation followed mr tenable's donation of food stuff and other items to orphanages in lagos and ugu the donations were part of activities making the celebration of mr tenable's 69th birthday yes that is how they make it look and uh, really, that would not be it at the end of the day because you just be thinking that he has the interest of the people at heart, but he does not. He's only working for his own interest because come 2023, he has a very big ambition of running as the president of Nigeria. That is why you can see that he's, uh, going, he's going about sharing full stuff and all of that, calling it, uh, you know, a, a, a remark from his birthday. That is not true. He's only trying to buy the people. You remember that uh, the former governor of uh, Ikiti State, Ayo Fayoshi, said this is just one very way of getting people to do what you want. That is the stomach, stomach infrastructure that is feeding people so that they can vote for you and, you know, help you and uh, grow your career in politics. Just try to feed them. And, well, I don't blame people who collect things during election. A lot of these people, the, these guys put... Nigerians in a very uh, terrible state of hunger so that once there's an election, these guys will not have an option than for them to do or go by their bidding. because a man that is hungry, you tell him, okay, all you have to do is to vote for me. I will give you 10,000 naira. 10,000 naira is such a huge money for him because he does not have a dime. So all he has to do is just to, is it not just to, to, to turn print on a ballot? And that is all. I'll get my 10,000. So a lot of them, that is what they go into. 
forgetting that they are destroying their own lives and that of their unborn children and even the children that are already born. Because people like that, all they know how to do, they are selfish people, they are self-centered. So they are not in any way thinking about your progress or thinking about how Nigerians are going to do better. You can imagine how Tinubu now has a lot of people and he's even sharing bags of rice, sharing some other things in the name of his foundation. What foundation? How many things have we heard him doing for his foundation? So it's not about his foundation. He's just selfish and he's trying to run for 2023 presidential election. But even without having the backings of the President Mohammed Buhari, how is he going to make that happen? Another thing, you know, Jagaban is a very... A smart person. He has calculated that the president does not understand that once he's out, he's out. But of course, the president will still be there until after his swearing in. So even after the election, they will still wait for his swearing in before he could take over. But before then, we hope that the president will still be alive. Now that we're getting reports of uh, some change of um, some change in his itinerary in in uh, London, where he's being treated. Uh, or giving checkups, uh, yes. So we hope that he returns because the agreed time of him returning was on Wednesday, which is 14th of April 2021. But the kind of reports we're getting now is that he's likely not to return on the said date that uh, he actually agreed on. So, well, we hope that Nigerians will be able to take that because even while he left, remember that there were a lot of protesters in London. And he has not been able to deal with that. And now he's dealing with something else that is also as difficult as, uh, you know, doing the wrong thing and all of that. So really, I hope that uh, Tinubu understands that the Northerners are not in support of his ambition come 2023. So he can give whatever he wants and whatever. He is not just calculative enough to understand that these guys are just using him especially the president they used him to get to what or used him to get what they wanted but that alone has not uh, helped in any way so really let him be wise and know what he really wants because 2023 is just by the corner and it's just very close and he shouldn't be deceived by those surrounded by him the northerners do not play or do not joke with their uh, zoning which is they believe that the presidency must come to them come 2023 so i wonder how tinubu is going to hold this up and so many other names in the people's democratic party that are also ready to run for presidency come 2023 anyway my dear people thank you so much for listening whatever you have to say please drop it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up do have a pleasant time bye for now